Hey, how you doing? Spring Chris Arrival Fever and Lone Wolf Strength Training. This is part two of how to do the power, power row, power bent over barbell row. If you want to do it more strict, you just stop at your knees and pull to your stomach and down to your knees. If you want to do a power row, you can do it this way. You set up exactly like a deadlift. It's good to look down at your arms to make sure that your arms, your elbows are right along on the inside of your knees. So when you, when you know you're there, you get your lats contracted, everything contracted, you blast off and you throw it to your stomach. Um, it's uh, a little bit of a cheat move for sure, but you can handle a little bit more weight and hopefully that can translate into you getting a little more muscle mass and a little more strength. So I got, I already did 275. Now I put 20 more pounds on, which makes it 295. So we'll see if I can do that. And then if I can, I'll go up again. Bend over, good tight grip. Bring my shins down, embrace and do it. Actually, that went really good. I think I'm good for 20 more pounds. That's 305 and 315. So I really like these. So I'm planning, like I'm saying I'm in the other bench press video, I'm planning on uh, doing sets of fives. So I won't be using this weight as my work weight. I want to work on adding volume and see if that's going to help me strength-wise. Um, there's all sorts of people that say all sorts of different things. Brooks Cubic and a lot of other people think that five sets of five is great. Or three working sets. Mark Ripito thinks three working sets of five is great. If you take um, Elliot Pulse from... Um, his channel, I think his channel right now, but he's really big into, into doing one all out set. Now I've done both actually, but I've gotten really great results from both. Um, but I may have gotten better results from doing more reps in the past. I remember doing sets of five a long time ago and it didn't feel that hard. And I was nowhere near 315 in my bench press, but I decided just to max out after several weeks of doing sets of five on my bench press with 225 and I smoked the 315 like nothing. So keeping mental notes and written notes of these things can definitely help your training. So I got 315 here on the bar. Let's see how this one goes. Same thing, get set up. It's gonna be a deadlift. I like calling it a deadlift row. Actually, that one went really good too. So I'm going to add more weight to the bar, and we'll do one more heavy, heavy single. Let's see if I got any more tens. I might have to use some fives. So there's two fives there. Two more fives on here. That would make it uh, 325, 335. That would make it 335 pounds. So I really like this movement. I like that. I like how it feels. I like it a lot. So in the comments, if you think it's a junk move, <laughs> exercise, go put it down. Tell me your favorite rowing variation. Tell me if you are a Mark Ripito fan and you believe everything he says or Brooks Kubik or Elliot Hulse or um, what the juggernaut training people and there's so much stuff. There's 531, descending sets, wave sets, this sets, that sets. You know what's important? That you get after it and work hard and you don't do too much. You do the right amount. You can find out about doing the right amount by just doing one work set and see if that works for you. If it stops working, add another work set. If that stops working, add another work set. 
If that stops working, try increasing the reps. If that stops working, try decreasing the reps. One thing you want to do is you want to have gaining momentum. You do not want to smash your sets into the ground. You drive your sets into the ground, you'll kill your gaining momentum. I guarantee it because I've done it every time that I push too hard, my gains went yeah, stuck. All right, 335 pounds. I barely touched my belly. I could barely call that good. I definitely couldn't hold it there for a second, but I got it, it felt good. Um, I definitely think that 10 to 20 pounds lighter is better because the 315 that I did, I could feel it more in my back. And I, that's important to me. I think you should feel an exercise in your muscles. I think it's highly important. Anyhow, you like the video, give it a like. Give me a subscribe, I'd highly appreciate that. Tell me about your workout, tell me about your day, tell me about your life. Uh, God is good, even when we aren't. Thank God. Uh, Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. You have an awesome day.